Hey Hawkeyes, this is Kirk Ferentz. My players know that success on and off the field requires a strong work ethic with a focus on improvement. Our players share the drive and determination of Iowa Farm families, and that's why we're proud to wear the America Needs Farmers logo on our helmets. Please join the Hawkeyes and the Iowa Farm Bureau as we celebrate farmers during ANF Game Day on October 12th. For more information and to win game day tickets, visit americaneedsfarmers.org. On the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield, this is the Fight for Iowa podcast. Here's the voice of the Hawkeyes, Gary Dolphin. The ANF America Needs Farmers Wall of Honor will add a 12th name at the Iowa Washington game on October 12th in Kinnick Stadium. The award is presented to a former Hawkeye football player who exemplifies the tenacity, work ethic, and character of the Iowa farmer. Brandon Myers was a first team All Big Ten tight end in 2008. Not only did Myers catch 56 passes, nine for touchdowns across four seasons, he was a menace on special teams where many future Hawkeye stars cut their teeth. Myers is happy to tell you his work ethic and tenacity had a lot to do with growing up in Jasper County's Prairie City, attending PCM High School, where he was a multi-sport star. Football was a given, but he also led his team to a state basketball championship. Add in spending summers on his grandparents' central Iowa farm, throwing hay bales, tending to the hogs, and harvesting beans and corn, and it's a small wonder Myers grew into a six foot four, 250 pound punishing blocker. Yet Iowa wasn't 100% sure Myers was Big Ten quality. Myers was all set to spend his college years playing for Mark Farley at Northern Iowa. But Hawkeye assistant coach and recruiting guru Reese Morgan convinced Kirk Ferentz to take a chance on the young PCM Mustang who would gallop to stardom as the next in a long line of combo blockers and pass catchers at tight end U. Uh, yeah, you know, when it comes down to it, uh, growing up, living in the state, being a, being a fan of the Hawkeyes, um, yeah, when it came down to it, I, I knew that's where my heart wanted to be. And uh, it, it was tough. It was tough to tell you and I know, but I definitely feel like I made the right decision. Small town Iowa, Prairie City, Monroe, PCM. And, and like most communities uh, that size, really depends on Iowa's agricultural industry uh, uh, for its economic backbone. You spent a lot of time on uh, your grandparents' farm right, right near Prairie City there where you learned what farm strong meant, that work ethic, that grit that would carry you through four years as a Hawkeye and eight years in the National Football League. What part of that experience have you carried with you uh, in your everyday life, your everyday work today? Uh, really, it's, it's about everything, honestly. Growing up, uh, being around farmers, being around construction workers, just everyday, everyday workers, um, that that was installed in me early on in my life and it was just you know just a part of it you have to get up and do things when you don't want to do them um it's really just about consistency uh just showing up and, and doing work so i tried to take that from from my early on years to to the university and uh it was really just an easy transition you know I, I, when i got to iowa it was just put your nose to the to the ground and, and do some work and, uh, you know, after four years, five years there, um, you know, it paid off. And I was able to, uh, to parlay that into to a nice career in the NFL. Um, you know, it, it just, it was just, it was just a big deal for me coming from a small town, going to Iowa, learning, learning what it took to be a Hawkeye. Uh, just some of those guys ahead of me that I look up to kind of paved the way. Uh, so it was really just an easy transition. It was really just about doing the work and putting the time in. Yeah, there really are some parallels between farming and, and the Iowa way uh, from strength and conditioning to uh, set schedules, both academically and athletic. It's it's so much more than football, isn't it? Yes, it really is. Uh, you know, I give it to all the athletes, not just, you know, I was in the football space, but just all athletes in college. You know, you just you, you see the you see how they're getting paid now and, and some people have issues with it, but it really is a full time job. and. Uh, I got a lot of respect for those kids that that wake up early. They, you know, they go work out. They do their their homework stuff like that. So it's definitely a full time job. 
Now your name will be engraved on that ANF uh, wall of honor plaque with the likes of uh, Greenway and Gallery and Campman and DeVries, uh, fellow tight ends, uh, Dallas Clark and Tony Moyaki, names uh, profoundly associated with Iowa Hawkeye football. Must give you pause for reflection and satisfaction for a uh, career well spent. Yeah, it really does. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, you know, it's pretty easy when you get to Iowa, you just kind of fall in line and you fall in line behind guys like that who you just mentioned. And uh, it's definitely very humbling to, to be on the wall with those guys. Um, I, it's something I take very seriously and I'm very proud of. Um, and I know people from my hometown, uh, small town Iowa, you know, it's a big deal to them too. So uh, it's definitely humbling and I'm, and I'm very excited for, for the game coming up. Yeah, we look forward to seeing you back in Iowa City. You know, what Coach Hayden Fry started with the ANF theme back in the 1980s during a severe farm crisis to uh, Farm Bureau uh, jumping on board as a sponsor and Coach Ferentz continuing the tradition. You know, as an alum of the Hawkeyes, it must make you awfully proud of your days uh, spent uh, in that black and gold uniform. Yeah, it really does. It just shows you the people of Iowa, the people around the, the university, uh, to, to show the the support and um, you know it, it's a big deal and uh, it's definitely an honor and I'm and I'm happy to be a part of it for sure. Man, can it be 15 years since Brandon <laughs> Myers left Iowa? I mean, uh, a successful career in the pros. Now you have a young family. Tell us, uh, tell us about the Meyer family. Yeah, so we're we're down here in Arizona right now. We have uh, it's my wife Ashley and I, and we have two boys, Dawson who's one and a half, and Carson who's seven. So uh, they're keeping us on our toes. Uh, <laughs> we're in we're into sports now, so so I'm coaching. Uh, I found out really early. I know what I'm doing, but it's really hard to tell a six year old how to do it. So <laughs> I, I'm learning, and I'm having fun while we do it. So uh, it, it's been great. You're coaching? Uh, I'm attempting to, yes. Yeah, I'm definitely attempting to coach. That must make you appreciate all the coaches that took you on, steering you in the right direction uh, when you were a youngster all the way through the pros, right? Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm getting a little payback for maybe for some of them years when I was a knucklehead, maybe. So uh, we'll see. It's, it's fun, though. We're all knuckleheads at some point of our <laughs> lives, right, but we right. usually hopefully get straightened out. Uh, what's, uh, do you get back to Iowa city? Do you watch, I'm sure you watch or listen to Hawkeye football every chance you get. Oh yeah. Yeah. We, we try to come back as much as we can, uh, especially during the summer down here. It's a little warm. So try to get up there and, and see the family and hang out a bit. Um, we definitely have, have the Hawks on every Saturday. There's a nice group of people down here where we live uh, that are Hawk fans. So, we try to try to get together every every so often, and uh, it's just it's just a good time for for Iowans to get together and, and cheer on the Hawks. Hey Hawkeyes, this is Kirk Ferentz. My players know that success on the field and off the field requires a strong work ethic and constant improvement. That's true no matter what field you're on. There are less than five percent of Iowans making a living off the land. The Hawkeyes are proud to celebrate Iowa's hardworking farm families. Agriculture touches lives in so many ways. We feel it's important to recognize the men and women responsible for producing our nation's food, fuel, and fiber. Farmers are the backbone of the state of Iowa and the whole country. That's why our players are proud to wear the ANF logo on their helmets. It serves as a reminder to all of us, America needs farmers. Join the Hawkeyes and the Iowa Farm Bureau as we celebrate America's farmers during ANF game day on October 12th. You could win the ultimate ANF fan package four reserve seats, sideline access, and an autographed football. To register, visit americaneedsfarmers.org. What do you think about Luke Lachey and Addison Estrenga and uh, uh, the young Ortworth kid out of St. Louis? I mean, Iowa is such a tradition rich uh, uh, for, for the tight end position. Uh, that's been ongoing and, uh, and carrying on. That must make you uh, stick your chest out a little bit too, doesn't it? Yes, it definitely does. Um... It, it just seems like whoever they plug in uh, just just keeps it going, and it, they're fun to watch. Um, definitely enjoying enjoying watching this year. Uh, yeah, it, it's definitely a great tradition, and it's uh, it's a pretty good list if you think about it. If you go down the list and think about, there's a lot of good times there on Saturday watching watching a lot of those guys play. So it's it's fun. 
Brandon Myers with us for another minute or so here on the Fight for Iowa podcast. Maybe my favorite Brandon Myers uh, uh, highlight uh, or uh, memory of, of many would be the uh, opening series of that uh, Outback Bowl against South Carolina in uh, 2000. I think it was nine or 2008. I can't remember which what year, yeah. but Ricky Stanzi found you down the seam at least three times, maybe four for third and long conversions, which led to an opening drive touchdown. And yeah. the Hawks rolled it uh, up from there to a 31-10 victory over the Gamecocks. Uh, Big 10 beating the SEC anytime is special. But uh, what do you remember about that game? That was a, such a gifted, talented Iowa team. Yeah, I, I remember we had a pretty special year that year with Sean running for, for all the yards, you know, the, the consecutive games. Uh, you know, it's always – interesting going into a bowl game you're you're around the other team uh south carolina you know for the for the bowl events or whatever and you know they definitely passed the eye test getting off the bus and uh i just remember uh going into that game we we were really just gelling as a team and it's easy to gel as a team when you have a running back like sean that makes kind of makes everyone uh, a little better but yeah we, we started off that game and it just so happened to be we had a few third downs and and uh and ricky happened to find me uh one thing i do remember about that is there's a good there's a good break from the end of the season to the bowl game and we were down there in tampa and that, after that first drive i was like oh man my conditioning was <laughs> it, it was a little <laughs> off that's for sure so that that is one thing that i remember sticks out to me is the opening drive uh, it was a little winded. You played special teams. You you got the uh, next man in award uh, once for offense, but also I think you were a freshman when you got it for special teams. And yep. you above most or more than most know how valuable special teams play is to Iowa Hawkeyes. Yeah, it was kind of one of those things where what I mentioned earlier, you, once you get there, you just get in line and you see how the older guys do it. And and that was, I was always brought to my attention right away. You know, you want to get on the field, you got to play special teams. So I took that seriously. Uh, a lot of guys took that seriously for like a, like a walk on, uh, you get five or six kickoffs a game or whatever. So you make it, you make it count and everyone kind of holds that, you know, it's, it's important to everyone. And uh, I just took that, what I learned at Iowa and I just took it into the NFL and it's kind of the more you can do, the longer you can stay around. The more you can do, the longer you can stay around. Myers hung around for a long time, from walk-on to all Big Ten, then an eight-year career in the National Football League, making plays for the Raiders, Giants, and Buccaneers to present day, coaching two young sons in youth sports in Arizona, where Myers is a successful representative for the Diamond Door and Window Company. Iowa Farm Bureau President Brent Johnson says the commitment integrity and drive of the ANF Wall of Honorees is just as important today as it was in the 1980s when Hall of Fame coach Hayden Fry launched the program during the farm crisis. The ANF game recognizes the hardworking men, women, and families in agriculture whose work creates a positive impact in Iowa and across the globe. Johnson invites game day attendees to stop by the Iowa Farm Bureau and Legends Tent at Krause Family Plaza, where you can win prizes and get autographs from former Hawkeye greats, including Brandon Myers. You'll be able to purchase ANF merchandise with a portion of the proceeds benefiting the Iowa Food Bank Association. For more information, log on to americaneedsfarmers.org. That's the Fight for Iowa podcast. We'll be back with another edition next week. I'm Gary Dolphin. Go Hawks. You've been listening to the Fight for Iowa podcast. Hawkeye fans, remember to hit the subscribe button on your favorite podcast app. Once you become a Fight for Iowa podcast subscriber, you'll automatically receive the latest episodes of the Fight for Iowa podcast, the Herkey's Voice podcast, Hawk Talk replays, exclusive game day content, and more. Until next time, on Iowa and go Hawks! The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network. Hey, Hawkeyes, this is Kirk Ferentz. My players know that success on and off the field requires a strong work ethic with a focus on improvement. 
Our players share the drive and determination of Iowa Farm families, and that's why we're proud to wear the America Needs Farmers logo on our helmets. Please join the Hawkeyes and the Iowa Farm Bureau as we celebrate farmers during ANF Game Day on October 12th. For more information and to win game day tickets, visit americaneedsfarmers.org. 